Hi students, in this video we're going to look at how to expand differences of squares. All right, so after watching this video, you should be able to expand binomial products to form a difference of squares. All right, key things to recall are how to expand binomial expressions and also our definition of perfect squares, where anything that's squared can be called a perfect square, which is a square. All right, now let's consider the following binomial expansions, and we'll just expand them out and see what sort of pattern we might see as we expand them. Looking at our terms, we've got x minus 3 and x plus 3. So the same terms, just one's a plus and one's a minus. Let's use our rainbows and expand them. So x times x and x times positive 3. x times x is x squared. x times positive 3 is positive 3x. And then negative 3 times x and negative 3 times positive 3. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times positive 3 gives us negative 9. Now look at these middle terms. One's positive 3x, one's negative 3x. They're just going to cancel each other out. 3x minus 3x, that just gives us 0. So all we're left with is x squared minus 9. Now let's try the second example. Once again, we'll have x times x, that's x squared. x times negative 10, that's negative 10x. 10 times x, that's positive 10x because we've got a positive a plus sign at the front. And then positive 10 times negative 10, that's negative 100. Hmm. Now look in the middle again. We've got negative 10 and positive 10x. Negative 10x, positive 10x, they're both going to cancel each other out too. So we're left with x squared minus 100. Hmm. Now, notice here, 9 is the same as 3 squared. And we got that 9 by doing 3 times 3. In the same way, 100 is the same as 10 squared which we got from 10 times 10. So there is some sort of a pattern here um, that we can use uh, when we've got expressions like this, where you've got something plus something times something minus something, or if those are switched around. Okay. And that rule is this one. The difference of squares in expanded form says, if you've got a plus b or something, something plus something, then times up by something minus something. When you expand it, you end up getting a squared minus b squared. And this is our difference because it's subtraction. Difference means subtraction. Difference of squares. And that's where the title and that's where the name comes from. And this rule we can use to quickly expand um, things of this form where you've got a plus b and a minus b. You can just go straight to a squared, that first term squared minus b, that second term squared. And notice it also works if it's switched around. So if you've got a minus b and a plus b, the order's switched, you still get the same expression when you expand it. All right, let's use this in some examples. All right, we've got x minus four, x plus four. All right, so when according to our rule, we can just square the first term, subtract, and square the second term. So that's x squared minus 16. And there's your working out. There's your expansion of this term up here. Looking at the second one, again, we've got the same sort of pattern. We've got 5x plus 6 and 5x minus 6. They're the same expressions, just one's plus, one's minus. So that's, once again, our difference of squares rule. We can just use our difference of squares rule to expand that one out. So it ends up being 5x squared minus 6 squared, 5x squared. 5 squared is 25. x squared is just x squared. 6 squared is 36. And there's your expansion. And that's all there is to it. Right, so after watching this video, you should be able to expand binomial products to form a difference of squares.